Good evening and welcome to Manchester. We're at the Manchester Basketball Centre getting ready for the NBL Division 2 women's tip-off between the Manchester Mystics and the Birmingham Rockets. Tip-off is just a couple of minutes away. as the starting fives are coming out onto the court. So for the Mystics, we have Lucy Throffall, Holly Bryan, Rebecca Bellis, who is uh, the Mystics captain today. Rebecca Illingworth and Lola Whittle. So tip is up and Mystics come away with the first possession. Nice pass inside and that will be it and one and a foul call. So Rebecca Illingworth to the line after the first two points on the board for the Mystics. Can't get that free throw to drop, but Mystics get the offensive rebound to get another chance at possession. Ryan's driving, the bolt kicks it down. Three is up and no good. Shot clock violation, ball will go to Birmingham. The charge controlling the ball for Birmingham. Baseline drive, spins, puts it off the glass and can't quite drop in. Mystics grab the rebound and Bellis is driving all the way off the glass, won't go. Charge. Travel call on Birmingham. Some good defence from the Mystics as well to run down the shot clock and make Birmingham force Birmingham to the turnover. Brian passes the throw ball back to Brian. Brian's driving, kicks it out. Nice pass inside and off the glass. Two points for Holly Bryan. That is a 4-0 Mystics lead with 8.30 to go in the first quarter. Wilma Hosa passes it out. Three's up for Birmingham. No good. Mystics grab the rebound. And floater won't drop for Manchester. Another offensive rebound though. Holly Bryan puts up the three. That won't drop either. Uma Hosa driving and that will be a travel call on Birmingham so ball is back with the Mystics.
Mystics ball, 7.34 to go in the first quarter. Pass inside to the Mystics, off the glass, won't go. Birmingham grab the rebound. Pass too strong for Birmingham and that will be a turnover on Mystics ball. Illingworth to throw ball tries to pass inside but that's broken up and Birmingham will come back shots up doesn't fall but Birmingham grabs the rebound and we'll get another 14 on the shot clock Shots up, and that is good for Birmingham. First points on the board, and that will be Kaz Devine Henry. Holly Bryan. Pass stolen away by Birmingham. Gonna go all the way, drives. Layup's good. Four all, tie game, 6 16 in the first quarter. Throw ball, bringing the ball up for Manchester. Shots up, doesn't drop, rebound and puts it back in for Hannah Alti. Oh, pass is nearly taken away by throw ball there for Manchester. Knocked it out of bounds, so ball stays with the Mystic. Ellis. Willingworth. Back to Brian. Throw falls pass and knocked out of bounds, and that will be Mystic's end line ball. Ryan driving, puts up a, a shot high off the glass, but that won't drop. Birmingham grab the rebound and looking to take the Leon's possession. Driving all the way, scoop layup and in. Kaz Devine Henry, that's four points in the game for her. 7 6 Birmingham lead with five minutes to go in the first quarter. Mystics looking to answer and ball off someone's foot. That will be end line Mystics ball. So, time out Birmingham. And it is a 7-6 lead to Birmingham with just over five minutes to go in the first quarter. Mystics currently second in the table at the moment, three and one, just behind Stockport, who are five and zero. Oh. Birmingham sitting in tenth place at zero and five, looking for their first win today. Both teams coming back onto the court. And Mystic's a little short handed at the moment, so waiting for some players who are currently on their way back from Sheffield for a, a quarter final against the Hatters in the under 18s division. Along with coach Paul Cantwell. 
So Mystics end line ball. Holly Ryan will inbound. Alter's asking for it underneath the basket, puts it up and in. Rebecca Alt Hannah Alti, apologies. So 8 7 Mystics lead. Foul call on Pashaj as she drives to the basket. Foul number one on Rebecca Illingworth for the Mystics. up to Birmingham, no good. Rebound grabbed by the Mystics. Long pass down the court, just tipped away. Look, Brian to inbound. nearly lose control driving inside Alti off the glass won't drop gets her own rebound puts it up again and banks it in Georgieva passes inside for Birmingham that's a kick ball so that will stay with the Rockets Over to Pashaj and just loses it out of bounds. So it'll be turnover rockets and ball is back with the Mystics. Terrell Fall drives, puts it up but can't get it to drop. Does Birmingham come back? Threes up and doesn't drop. Bring him and grab the rebound, but can't finish. Umahova <laughs> puts it up. That three doesn't drop. Mystics on the attack, going all the way. And that will be out of bounds, Mystics ball. <laughs> Substitution for Birmingham as Sophie Mansfield comes into the game for the first time. the shot clock for Birmingham shots up nothing on that one and Mystics grab the rebound Rebecca Illingworth spins puts it up and that drops that is a 12-7 Mystics lead with just over three minutes to go in the first quarter Pichard. Mahosa driving, double team, steps through, puts it up, and oh, <laughs> that would have been a fantastic move if she'd have finished. End line Rockets ball. Drive to the basket, can't get it to drop. Birmingham getting some good looks, but the, the shot's just not dropping for them at the moment. Miss it's coming all the way, passes out. Long two is up, and that is good. That will be the first points of the game for Rebecca Bellis. 14-7 Mystics lead. Oh, 
Oh, nice pass inside. And just can't quite finish it, can't get the layup to finish. So jump ball will stay with Birmingham. Nine on the shot clock for Birmingham. Mimohosa. To Devan Henry, passes inside. Layup, no good. Shot clock expiration and Mystics looking to come back on the break. A oh, nice pass, but that just won't finish. Alt is there for the rebound and puts it back. Turnover for Birmingham and ball back with the Mystics. 1.27 to go with a 16 7 Mystics lead. As Marit Vane comes into the game for the Rockets. Number 15. Holly driving for the Mystics. Passes outside. Three is up and spins out. Doesn't drop. Oh, nice steal by the Mystics. Can't get the layup to go. Mystics still come away with the rebound. Scoop pass three is up and that is oh, in and out. <laughs> Unlucky. It's halfway down the cylinder on that one. Uma Hose puts up the three. Banks it in. 16-10 Mystics lead. 45 seconds left to go in the first. Throw fall to Brian get the foul call as she drives is driving passes out oh nice pass inside just too strong off the glass and that one won't go for Birmingham Mystics coming back with the last 24 but they're going all the way pass to Alti and easy basket for the Mystics 18-10 Mystics lead 13 seconds to go Rockets with the last shot of the quarter five to shoot Umahosa puts it up and nothing but net on that one from Umahosa And that will do it for the first quarter. 18-12 Mystics lead. Cue the some of the Mystic players have managed to make it to the to the game now, so bolstering the roster for the um, Manchester Mystics. Okay, so quarter two is about to get underway. So 
the Mystics with a six point lead as we head into the second quarter, 18-12. Rebecca Bellis will inbound for Manchester. And Saffron Murphy with the ball. Hannah Alte. Stripped by Birmingham. On the fast break. And pass is just too strong. Oh, no, that was tipped out of bounds by the Mystics. It looked like it had some height on it. So, Passage. Inbounds, fakes a three, nice little jump stop, but that basket won't drop. Bellis spins, puts it off the glass, doesn't drop, but she'll get the foul call, so she will go to the line for two. First free throw is good for Rebecca Bellis. As is the second as she goes two for two from the line. So eight point Mystics lead. Mansfield. Back to Mansfield. Puts up the three, spins out. Saffron Murphy passes it outside. Three is up, won't go. Alton's there for the rebound, manages to keep hold of it. Two to shoot shoot for the Mystics but that will be a travel call and ball will go with to the Birmingham Rockets Mansfield Umahosa 10 to shoot for the Rockets back to Umahosa she puts up the three that doesn't go Mystics grab the rebound Bellis passes to Murphy. Back to Murphy for three, no good. Mansfield passes around the outside. Six on shot clock, five. Pashaj driving. She will get the foul call. As Holly Bryan and Faye Ditchfield come to the game for the Mystics, Hannah Alty and Rebecca Bellis will take a seat. Oh, 2012 Mystics lead, 7.57 in the second. Birmingham at the line for two. First shot's good. Puts the lead to seven. And second one doesn't drop. Mystics grab the rebound. Holly Bryan drives, puts up a floater and that <laughs> drops in. Six lead to nine. Bouchard. Vane shots no good, tries to tap it back. Rockets get the rebound. Mansfield with eight to shoot. Uma Hosa puts up the three. That doesn't go. Birmingham get another chance at the offense. Mansfield steps inside. 
Again, three is no good for Birmingham, and the Mystics will get a chance to increase their lead. Oh, and a nice steal from Birmingham, a block and a steal on that pass. Umahosa puts up the three, too strong. And that will be back with the Mystics as it's just knocked out of bounds by Birmingham. So it's Albi timeout Mystics as they lead 22 to 13 with 6.45 6 left in the second quarter. So half of this Mystics team have played a game this afternoon in Sheffield. They come back down here, playing again this evening. Not showing any signs of looking tired. And some players with experience of playing for the WBBL side. So Saffron Murphy was playing for the, Myst the Manchester Met Mystics last season. Got to see her on court a few times. Holly Bryan's been with the team for a few years ago. It's good for these guys to get the experience. Um, that will definitely help them in their campaign to get into D1. So the team's back on court, 22-13, Mystics lead. 6.45 to go in the second. Caitlin Duhan controls the ball for Manchester. Brian puts it up. <laughs> Banks it in. Holly Brian with the big three. 25 13, Mystics lead. Umahosa working inside. Passes out. Nearly loses control, but Umahosa gets it back. Antoinette Torgby is fouled as she drives, so that will be two shots. Second team foul on the Mystics this quarter. First basket's good. And so is the second, two for two from the line. To Duhan for Manchester. To Murphy. She's driving. Pass is broken up. Birmingham coming back. Georgiova passes inside. Told we can't get that one to finish. And Manchester managed to grab it and keep it in bounds. As Holly Bryan comes back with Saffron Murphy falling for it on the other side. Floater won't go for Manchester. Long two for Mansfield. Puts the Mystics lead to eight. 25-17. Murphy for the Mystics. Hands it off to Brian. Loses control as she drives. Birmingham come up with that one. And jump ball, but that will go Birmingham's way. So Lucy Threadfall and Rebecca Bellis coming back into the game for Manchester. Rebecca Illingworth and Faye Ditchfield will head to the bench.
Georgieva controlling it for Birmingham, passes inside. Uma Hosa puts up the shot, that's no good. Mystics come away with the rebound. And Saffron Murphy's there, goes all the way. Oh, can't finish the layup. Birmingham back on the attack. Pass a bit of a miscommunication there, the passing side was broken up, Mystics come back. Terrell Fall drives, goes all the way. That is going <laughs> to drop and count it and the foul. So she will go to the line for one. Can't finish the three-point play, but Mystics still have a 10-point lead, 27-17. And that we have foul call on Saffron Murphy. Third team foul for the Mystics. So sideline Rockets ball. Umahosa passes out. Mahosa spins and Holly Bryan's there, grabs the ball, that will be jump ball and that is going to go back with the Mystics. To Duhan, to Bellis, Bryan, hands it off to Duhan. Terrell Fall passes over the top. Five to shoot for the Mystics, need to get something up. Saffron Murphy passes, Holly Bryan at the buzzer and it won't drop, but Murphy grabs the rebound. Three's up for the Mystics, that one won't drop and Birmingham will come away with it. George Eva's layup's no good. Rebound Mystics again. Murphy puts it up and travel call. So shot will not count, didn't drop, but call was before the shot. So just over three minutes to go in the second quarter, 27-17, Mystics lead. So Diva to Mahosa, passes inside. Torky drives and she will go back to the line for another two shots. as Olivia Potashik comes into the game for Birmingham and Theodora Georgieva heads to the bench. So first shot is good. And second one doesn't get the friendly roll, but it will stay with Birmingham. So Birmingham get another 14 on the shot clock. Chance to cut into the Mystics lead. Mansfield to inbound. And foul against the Mystics. There'll be a foul on the floor. Hannah Alter coming back into the game for Manchester. Saffron Murphy taking a seat. Foul was not on the floor, sorry. So Olivia Potashik is at the line for two. First shot's no good, second one's also no good. Thrill falls all alone at the edge of the court, trying to keep it in. Brian grabs it. Bellis, Swalty, kicks it out, three is up, that won't drop. And rebound Birmingham. Togby's driving. 
almost loses it. And Birmingham just can't get the shot to drop at the moment. Tashik asking for inside. Off the glass, too strong. Brian's there for the rebound. Terrell falls driving. Puts it behind. Big block from Sarah Elfrey for Birmingham. Ball stays with the Mystics. 27 18 Mystics lead, 2.15 to go in the second quarter. Inbound pass too strong, so Birmingham come away with it. Pass inside is tapped away. Some good defense from the Mystics. Two hand passes it over to Threlfall, who's going to put up the three. And that hits. Lucy Threlfall for three. 29 18 Mystics lead. to Mansfield, Mansfield off the glass, too strong, Mystics rebound. And a drive and a, oh no, that was be a charging foul on the Mystics. So offensive foul on Rebecca Bellis as the ball goes back Birmingham way. Has Divine Henry coming into the game for Antoinette Colby. <laughs> Patashik controlling the ball for Birmingham. Elfrid to Mansfield, passes it outside, 10 to shoot, Elfrid inside, block from the Mystics and ball is back with them, so Holly Bryan, Alt is calling for it inside, and Rebecca Ellis, Rebecca Bellis, sorry, will drive all the way and get the two. Elfrey doubled on the baseline, shots up, no good. Patashik somehow manages to knock it off one of the Mystics players, so the ball will stay with the Rockets. With 39.3 seconds to go. And Holly Bryan just grabs the ball and takes it away. Estrell falls on the break, fakes it, puts it off the glass, too strong. Birmingham get the rebound and can drive all the way. Nope. Shots back out. Three is up and no good. Mystics drop the rebound. 17 seconds to go in the second quarter. Bellis, eight to shoot. Five on the shot clock. Bellis driving, scoops it up, goes in. Doesn't get the shot to drop, but she'll get the foul call, so she heads to the line for two shots. The shot doesn't drop. And second won't either. Mr. it the rebound, put it up, and <laughs> that won't go. And that will do it for the first half. 31-18 Mystics lead. So we will take a break for halftime and we'll be back with the second half shortly.
Welcome back. We are just about to get the second half underway of this NBL D2 North women's matchup between the Manchester Mystics and the City of Birmingham Rockets. Mystics currently have a 31-18 lead with Hannah Alti with 10 points leading all scorers and Antoinette Togby and Felicity Umahosa for the Rockets I have five apiece. Bit of drama to start the first half where the Mystics were just with five players as they were waiting for some re players returning from the under 18s game in Sheffield. Making a race against time to get back for tip off. They didn't quite make it for tip off but they've got here for the game so Mystic's uh, bench is looking pretty good. So last home game of the year for this Mystics team. They'll be back on Sunday the 9th of Janu January against the Stockport Lap Lapwings. Um, but their next few games are all away, away games. And Mystics are sitting second in the table. Sitting at three wins, one loss. And that is behind Stockport who are currently 5-0. and oh. So that January the 9th matchup is going to be a good one. Make sure you get down to the Manchester Basketball Centre and watch the, watch the girls in action. Both teams back on court for the second half. Mystics with a 13 point lead. So Rockets get possession to start the quarter. Driving inside, puts a shot up. That won't fall. Ball tapped out, but Rockets still come away with it. And loose ball, but Mystics get that one. Bellis passes to Murphy. Murphy's driving inside, puts it up, and that will drop. Saffron Murphy with the two points. Increases Mystics lead to 15. Umahosa passes out. Long twos up for Birmingham. That doesn't drop. And off the hands of the Mystics, so that stays with Birmingham. Bashaj to inbound, Torgby. Umahosa, nine to shoot. Drive inside, doesn't get anything on that one. And Mystics will come back with it. Murphy manages to control that, looks like it was about to go over ahead. Threll fall. Kicks it out to Bellis. Murphy drives baseline and will just step out of bounds, so ball will go with Birmingham. A nice pass inside from Divine Henry and that will be two points for Togby lead down to 13 as Murphy works against Pashaj but that will be a foul called on her her second and first team foul on the Rockets this quarter Illingworth to inbound Bellis Passes it inside to Alti, nearly loses control, manages to get it to Murphy, who spins, kicks it out. Seven to shoot for the Mystics, throw fall, somehow manages to get that up and grab her own rebound, passes it off to Illingworth, who will put it off the glass and in for Manchester. Mahosa. 
Divine Henry. And that shot's good. Brings it to a 35-23 lead for the Mystics. Bellis. With a crossover. Drives, steps. And, oh, so that will be a travel call. And good defense from Birmingham. That's Divine Henry inbounds. Hansfield working against Murphy. And foul call on Murphy. Ryan Henry, the passage. Mansfield. Six to shoot for Birmingham. Need to get something off. Divine Henry loses control as she drives. Mystics come away with it. Murphy's on her own. Passes it out. Three is up and that won't drop, but Alton's fighting for the rebound. She can't grab it. Birmingham come away with it. Mansfield working against Murphy. Shots up. That's good, two points for Birmingham. Puts it down to a 10 point lead, 6.55 to go in the third. Pellis inside to Alti, nice pass and a finish. Mansfield kicks it over to Divine Henry, opening the corner, three doesn't go. Birmingham grab the rebound and get the put back. Still a 10 point lead for the Mystics, but Birmingham have come out strong in this third quarter. Bellis to Murphy. Bellis gets it back. Inside to Alti. <laughs> Alti just puts it up, makes it look easy. 39-27 Mystics lead. Divine Henry goes all the way, can't get it to finish. And Illingworth grabs the rebound. Murphy again on the break. Slows that down, inside to Alti. Off the glass but can't get it to finish. Intercepted by the Mystics. And can't get that one to finish either. Lucky break for Birmingham on that possession. Hoser for Birmingham to Mansfield. Divine Henry drives, doubled. Uma Hoser driving, nearly loses control, manages to put it up, can't get it to drop. Birmingham still come away with the rebound, and that will be a foul call on Hannah Alte. Sarah Elfrey comes into the game and Felicity Umohosa takes a seat for Birmingham. So 39-27 Mystics lead, five minutes nine left in the third quarter. As that, we'll just have Uma Hosa coming back on, um, Elfrey will take a seat again. Yeah. 
Shot's too strong for Birmingham, but they grab the rebound. Torgby drives and will get the basket and the foul. Chance to go to the line. And we've seen a lot of that today from Antoinette Torgby. She's managing to get inside. If she's not getting the, the basket to drop, she's getting to the foul line. And can't finish the three-point play. So Mystics get it back. Stays with a 10-point lead with the Mystics. Just under five minutes to go in the third. Duhan drives. Three is up. That's no good for Manchester. Umahosa manages to... Uh oh it looked like it was off the Mystics. But no, it will stay end line Mystics ball. So throw fall to inbound. Duhan back to throw fall. Alti. Six to shoot for the Mystics. Five, four. Bellis puts up a shot, too strong. Birmingham get the rebound. And come back on the attack. Torgby drives. Can't get that one to drop. Alti. Turn around jumper off the baseline. Won't go. That was a beautiful move though. Divine Henry for Birmingham. Passes to Mansfield. Thinks about the shot. She drives. And going against two Mystics players, but she will get the foul call, so she will go to the line. So timeout Mystics. 39-29. Mystics lead, four minutes 14 to go in the third quarter. So, last Mystics home game of the year. They'll be back in action on the Sunday the 9th of January against the Stockpl Stockport Lapwings, currently top of the table, so make sure to get down to the Manchester Basketball Centre because that is going to be a game that you don't want to miss. So teams back on court, just over four minutes to go in the third quarter. Mystics with a 10 point lead. <laughs> Sophie Mansfield at the line for two for Birmingham, looking to bring this to a single digit, digit lead for the Mystics. And first shot's no good. Second hits, and that will be a 39-30 lead for the Mystics. Nine points in it. Brian to Duhan. To Bellis. Guided by Umahosa. Bellis is driving. Oh, nice move inside. She can't quite finish. Birmingham grabbed the rebound. And Mansfield won't control it. Divine Henry drives. 
and just steps out of bounds on the end line. So ball is back with, nope, sorry, that is a foul call. I'm not in my usual position this week, <laughs> in a different spot. So I'm not as uh, familiar with, with where the end line is over there. So first foul. This first foul shot is good. As is the second, two for two for Kaz Devine Henry. And that brings it to a seven point lead, 39-32. Three minutes, 45 left to go in the third. Holly Bryan hands it off to Duham. Works off the screen from Alti. Bellis inside to Alti, spins, puts it off the glass, too strong. And Birmingham with another chance to cut into this lead. Close it down. Passes to Mansfield. Divine Henry, 10 to shoot. Mansfield's driving. Blocked. Oh, no, that will be a foul call. It wasn't all ball. And that is foul number three on Rebecca Bellis for the Mystics. So Mansfield heads to the line for two. First shot's too strong off the glass. Second one's no good, but Uma Hoser grabs a rebound, so Birmingham get a fresh 14. Pushage puts the, sh the shot too strong, and Mystics come away with it. Still a seven point Mystics lead. Do hand to Brian. Alti's pass is broken up, Bouchage working against Duhan. She's gonna go, drives all the way, can't get it to drop, but that will stay with Birmingham. As Sarah Elfney, Elfry, sorry, will come into the game for Uma Hosa. Pass inside to Bouchage. Mansfield hands it off to Torgby and she manages to finish inside. That was a brilliant handoff. Five point lead for the Mystics. Birmingham really been working hard to cut into this, this 13 point lead we had earlier. Pass inside to Alters, no good. Elsie comes up with it. Torgby passes out. Divine Henry. Three is up and that is good. Sorry, long two. Three point ball game. 39 36 to the Mystics. Birmingham coming out firing in this third quarter. Just over two minutes to go. Holly Bryan passes it out. Alti, shots blocked. Divine Henry for Birmingham. Birmingham looking to tie or take the lead. And ooh, uh, not sure if that was a foul or if uh, it was just a bit of a slip on the floor. Oh, it was a tra travel call, so I think it was a slip, and it will be called as a travel. So Rebecca Bellis comes back into the game for the Mystics. Holly Bryan. She's driving all the way. Her shots just rims out. Rims up. Torgby. Mansfield thought about the shot. Passes it back to Torgby. Her shot's blocked and we will have a... Foul call, a holding foul. I'm not sure who that was on, sorry, we'll get back to you with that one. But we've got timeout Mystics. So three point Mystics lead, and Birmingham have done a really good job to get back into this one. Down 13 at one point, only a three point game with one minute 32 left to go in the third quarter. Kaz Devine Henry and Antoinette Torgby 
have really been leading the charge this quarter. Really strong inside presence from Togby. She's driving, she's getting to the foul line. If she's not making the basket, she's getting those foul calls and she's getting to the, the line making those free throws. The team's back on court. One minute, 32 to go in the third. And it will be a mystic sideline ball. Just having a bit of a chat with the referees before we get get started. So Mystic soon bound. Holly Bryan with the ball from Manchester. Hands it off to Bellis. Trolty. Bryan to Ditchfield. Pass is broken up but stays with the Mystics. Ten seconds to shoot. Ralph Ball gets the ball. Passes inside, broken up by Elfrey. Torby's come in. She's going all the way off the glass and in, takes it down to a one point game. Antoinette Torby, she's been doing that all day. 39 38 Mystics lead. Ralph Ball thought about the three, passes out to Holly Bryan. Bryan drives and Foul call on Birmingham, so Holly Bryan will go to the line. Her first free throw is no good. Second one is, puts the lead back to two points, 40-38 for the Mystics. 49.5 seconds to go in the third quarter. Mansfield controlling the ball for the Rockets. Dupitash. Divine Henry puts up a shot. That one's too strong. Rebound Mystics. Trying to ditch field. Bellis is calling for it. Pass inside just too strong and Alta can't keep hold of it. Birmingham coming back 26.3 on the clock. Long pass to Togby, puts it up, and that will be a foul call. Togby again getting to the line. This shot won't drop. Second one's good, brings it back to a one point game. 40 39 Mystics, 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Mystics can hold for the final shot of the quarter. Fishfield to Bellis, Terrell Fall, seven seconds to shoot. Terrell Fall puts up the three, high arc, no good. Two seconds to go. Can Birmingham get something off? No, not <laughs> it's not to be. 
basket won't count. So there we are for the third quarter. 40-39, one-point Mystics lead. Birmingham have got right back into it after being down 13 earlier in the game. So we're entering the fourth quarter between the Manchester Mystics and the Birmingham Rockets, City of Birmingham Rockets. It's a one-point game, 40-39. Birmingham down at 13 at one point in the game. They've managed to get back into it. Bellis. Working against Torgby. Hands it off to Ditchfield, to Brian. Brian's pass inside to Bellis. Seven seconds to shoot for the Mystics. Strelfall's calling for it. Brian puts it up. Shot's no good. Ulti grabs the rebound. Hands it off inside to Brian. That shot doesn't drop. And jump ball. That is going to go back with Birmingham. So Birmingham with a chance to take the lead on this possession. Mansfield. Divine Henry puts up the three. That one won't go. Elfrey's there for the rebound. Birmingham get another chance at the offence. Pass is broken up. Throw falls. Long pass to Holly Bryan, and that one will go. Quarterback pass there for Throw Fall. 42 39, Mystics lead by three. Mansfield. Pass inside to Torgby. Almost stolen away, Mansfield gets it back, passes to Elfrey, puts it off the rim, it's just too strong. But we've got a, I think we've got a slight injury on the floor, so we'll just stop. And Paul Cantwell's made it, coach Paul Cantwell is finally at the game after coming back from Sheffield. So that'll uh, put a bit of a spark under the Mystics as well. Hannah Alty doing a fantastic job coaching in his place during the first half. And as I said earlier, some of these Mystics players already played a full game today. They've come back, travelled through whatever weather, <laughs> snow, hail, whatever's going on outside to get here. They're now playing the second game of the day. And the energy that they're bringing is, is, is great to see.
So still a three-point Mystics lead, 8.49 to go in the third. And Mystics have the ball. Bellis. Hands off to throw ball. Pitchfield puts up a shot. That one's no good. And holding call on Birmingham. That will be on Kaz Devine Henry. Her second. So end line Mystics ball. Brian. To Willington Worth. Strips and Birmingham come up with it. Pashage almost loses control but manages to keep hold of it. Mansfield puts up the long two. That one won't go. Mystics managed to get the rebound. Brian's double. Needs some help. As Ditchfield has it stolen away by Pashage. And Birmingham with another chance to tie. Just over eight minutes to go. Mansfield to Togby. Divine Henry manages to hold on to it. As she goes all the way. Ball just bounces out. And pass intercepted again. Togby inside. Held free. And I think she just stepped out of bounds there. So ball goes back with the Mystics. Fall. to Brian, Pashaj nearly gets that one again, Brian's going all the way, she can't get the basket to drop but she will get the foul call so she heads to the line first shot is no good and to increase the lead for the Mystics second shot is so that will be a four point lead for the Mystics but Birmingham aren't going anywhere in this game Pashaj to Togby she's driving she's doubled Ball's loose and that will go back with the Mystics after the jump ball foul. The jump ball call, sorry. Saffron Murphy coming back into the game. And Faye Ditchfield will head to the bench. Murphy to throw four. Pass inside. Oh, beautiful pass inside. Illingworth with the two points increases the Mystics lead to six. And Mystics starting to put a little bit of daylight here between themselves and Birmingham. Pashaj. Long pass to it. Long pass is broken up. Divine Henry's to inbound. Mansfield to Torgby five to shoot nice pass inside Pashaj is blocked but that was a brilliant pass Brian's on the break puts it up she'll get the foul call and Holly By Brian is back at the line for the Mystics Six point Manchester lead. We can just, just increase that a bit more as we're in the, the last six minutes 30 of the fourth quarter. So Holly's first shot is good. So is the second, two for two from the line for Holly Bryan. Big time shots increases the lead to eight for the Mystics. Travel call on Birmingham. Mystics get the ball back and a chance to increase this lead further. 
Uma Hoser coming back into the game for Birmingham as Sarah Elfrey takes a seat. Ball stolen away by Birmingham, just steps out of bounds. Toby couldn't keep control of that. But good effort from this Birmingham team. Really pressuring the ball. Brian to Murphy. And she will step out of bounds. The ball is back with Birmingham. Bishash to Mansfield. Uma Hosa. Divine Henry puts up the long three. That looked like it was about to drop. It doesn't. Too strong. Throw fall to Murphy. Miss is going to slow it down a little bit. No. Nope. Murphy passes inside. Nice pass to Illingworth. And two points for Rebecca Illingworth. Takes the Mystics lead to 10. Starting to separate a little bit. Mansfield. Long two. Doesn't drop. Mystics rebound. Threlfall can't keep hold of that one, so back with Birmingham. So timeout with five minutes 25 to go. Mystics back to a 10 point lead. Birmingham did a great job to get back into this, getting it to a one point game after they'd been down 13 earlier in the game. Mystics starting to pull away. And they have a 10 point lead with five minutes, 25 to go. So both teams back on court, Birmingham ball. Mansfield to Divine Henry. Pichage, Togby, inside to Umahosa. Mansfield with the baseline jumper, that doesn't fall. Throw four for the Mystics to Murphy. Inside to Bellis, beautiful pass. Oh, and Bellis just can't finish that one. Uma Hosa kicks it to Pashaj, puts it up, tries to get the, the scoop layup, it just won't go. But taps it away and back with the Rockets. Togby to Pashaj. Nice pass inside. And that one doesn't drop. Bellis to Murphy. Murphy with a brilliant step inside and a reverse layup. Takes the lead to 12. 51 39. Four minutes 18 to go in the fourth quarter. Uma Hosa with a short jumper. Shot's no good and ball is back with the Mystics. So Manchester starting to, to pull away a little bit from Birmingham. Murphy to Brian. Brian's driving. Passes back to Bellis. To Lingworth. Back out to Murphy. Who will be called for the travel. Rockets get the ball back. Still time for them to cut back into this lead. We've seen them do it earlier in the game. It's 
need some shots to start dropping for them. And that will be a turnover on the Rockets. So, ball is back with the Mystics. Murphy from the baseline, her shot's too strong. Uma Hosa grabs a rebound. And Divine Henry manages to keep it for the Rockets. Bishaj. Inside to Uma Hosa, passes tipped away. Baseline drive, Torby puts it up. No good on that possession. Mystics get it back. Just over three minutes to go. And Brian to throw fall. Pass inside is broken. And that will be <laughs> off Birmingham. So back with the Mystics. So Bellis for Manchester, she's driving all the way off the glass, doesn't go, but she will get the foul call, so she heads to the line. So Teodora Georgieva and Marit Vein are coming into the game for the Rockets. Bellis hits the first free throw. And doesn't get the second to drop, so it's just a 13 point lead for the Mystics. Two and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Shots blocked for Birmingham. Manchester coming away with it. Murphy and Bryan on the break. Couldn't quite take advantage of that one on the two for one. As the ball will go back with Birmingham. So 52-39, Mystics lead. Henry thinking about the three. Ready over, pass inside, uh, he's kicked, so that stays with the Rockets. Murphy passes inside to Bellis. What a great pass from Murphy inside. Bellis can't quite finish it. To Birmingham back on offence. As we get a, a foul call on the floor in that possession. So with Birmingham on team fouls, that will mean the Mystics head to the line. And Holly Bryan will be back for two free throws. Holly's first shot's good. As is that one, two for two from the line for Holly. Puts the lead up to 15, and that looks like 
it will probably be too big a challenge for Birmingham to come back in the next 1 minute 20. Unless we see something miraculous. Divine Henry puts up the three. That one's no good. Rebounded by Bellis, who's fighting <laughs> to get free. Oh, big block on Illingworth. And that was Divine Henry with another block. Just under a minute to go. Birmingham to inbound. Pass is intercepted. Mystic's long pass doesn't go, so back with Birmingham. Pashaj drives, puts it up. That'll drop for her. 13 point Mystic's lead, 37 seconds to go. Murphy's pass inside to Illingworth. As she puts it in. Some really nice passing from the Mystics, especially from the the guards to the bigs inside. Divine Henry to Pashash. Bain puts up a jumper, no good. And ball is back with the Mystics for the last 17 seconds. 56 41 Mystics lead. And Holly Bryan will dribble it out for the Mystics. So that will do it for today. 56 41. 15 point Mystics lead. Uh, Mystics win. And a really, really hard fought game from both teams. Birmingham were down 13, managed just to get the game back within one. Mystics with a, a short roster till around the second quarter. Team on the way back from Sheffield. Coach Paul Cantwell um, also. <laughs> Stuck, stuck on the roads, managed to get back for the second half. Um, so a really big win for the Mystics. They'll be really pleased with that. They came out strong. You know, short roster, no coach. Hannah Alt is stepping in for Paul, doing a really great job for the first half. And some really strong performances from this Mystics team. So that will do it from the Manchester Basketball Centre. I'm Caroline Bullock. And we'll be back with you in January for the next home game against the Stockport Blackwings on January the 9th. 56-41, Mystics win. I'm here with Saffron Murphy and Holly Bryan. So how did you guys find that after a tough, uh, a tough game earlier against Sheffield? So Saffron, you were playing from down from Sheffield. Uh, how did you find that? Um, both games were really tough and so was the travelling, um, but I think everyone did the best that they could. Yeah, that's great. And Holly, how was that first quarter for you when these guys hadn't quite got here yet? Because um, we're like more experienced older players, I think, rather than playing harder, because we knew we wouldn't have the runners that we usually have with the younger ones, we had to, we had to play smart and I think without having them in the, with no, and no subs in the first half, we dealt with it quite well until they got here. Yeah, yeah. And Birmingham like didn't quite go away did they you've got quite a 13 point lead at one point they managed to get it back to one point but then you guys really just went for it in the fourth quarter is that just the kind of mindset you, you've got playing together for quite a while you know what you're going to do yeah I think the third quarter I think it just like like even though we'd all just played it's like that like getting that second wind again yeah. and that's why they that's why they went on the run in the third but then once we'd like sorted ourselves out and got our rotations right and calmed down a bit it was just we were able to just take it, take the lead then. Yeah, yeah. And Saffron, I saw you had you so many times you were just down here on the break, like looking for the ball. And some the the passes inside that you were getting to uh, Rebecca, they were just, you know, they were fantastic. How do you work on that? Just do you practice a lot together? You've got you're very familiar with how each other play. Yeah, I feel like um, we practice a lot and we all we know the motion of it, so it's like we know what's coming and. Um, it's just about timing, really. Timing your pass right. And both you guys have had experience playing in the WBBL with the Mystics, uh, the Manchester Met Mystics. How has that helped you with your game here? Um, I think I got a really good experience watching the women play. You pick up really good stuff, and it's good to be coached by Jeff as well. Yeah. 
it's like you expect a certain standard from them when they play. So when you come here, you almost put that with the other players and be like, yeah, someone should be here at this time and this time. So it like, like helps us like organise the team when we're, when we're on the floor. Great. Well, uh, great win today, guys. And I'll see you back here in January for Stockport. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.